My exploration into the isolated lifestyle begins in Guwahati, Assam. We have just finished filming an episode at the notorious Kamakya Temple. I don't want to leave before traversing a classic roadway into the country's most far-flung state, Arunachal Pradesh. I hired a driver to take me across the state's main road. This is the state's main road. A butt-busting, perilous drive up through the greenest, luscious forests I've ever seen. Then through a dominant valley, all the way to a cloud-based pass. And ultimately, arriving at the largest monastery outside of Tibet. While the vehicle is powered by petrol, I fuel up on the region's specialty, momos. Delicious, fresh, and affordable dumplings available at most roadside restaurants. I'm hell-bent to eat these juicy morsels of goodness the entire journey long. As the road begins a slow, relentless ascent, we pass through dense forest. Here trails mosey off towards remote tribal villages, and giant waterfalls plunge indefatigably into perilous currents. We climb up farther to where the water, now deep in the wedge of the valley, has slowed to a meander, siphoned off for agriculture that is and was always in demand. In the first season of RLT, I saw traces of Tibetan history in monastic art. It was once an empire that ruled by the sword. Traces of that empire spill through this valley which once fell under its domain. <laughs> this area right here would have been where they held uh, court proceedings. Dignitaries from Tibet would come in and pass judgment on anybody accused of a crime here in this part of town, in this region. And up inside these fortifications, They built these really thick walls to defend something, right? That something is over in here. This, this would have been where they stored grain and crops gathered from Western Arunachal. And of course, with all this booty here, you need these defensive walls and soldiers to man them. With the ancient soldiers gone, I probe into the old structure. Too bad. This is the heart of it, but you can't get inside. If I was an attacker trying to get inside, I'd be dead already. You see that? I look for a way around the back, and I just about have one. Oh, the devil on this shoulder says, climb up it just a little bit and see. Angel on this shoulder says, no, it's a historic relic. The next generation has every as much right as you do to see it. It's crumbly, it's a bad idea. The sun sets on my first day in Arunachal. I've made some progress, but the contentious road stretches on. I wake up early the next morning to grab a view from a nearby mountain. The way up is challenging, but the scenery is stunning. At the top where the clouds part, wild horses roam, and livestock grazes the grassy ridges. Here, there's a small village of Brookpa, herders who survive entirely off the curious animal known as the yak. From a house above, I receive an invitation. Hello. 
While I warm by the fire, the woman prepares the local morning drink. Yak butter tea. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Very unique flavor. Very buttery. Undoubtedly full of yak milk, which has a lot more fat than a cow's milk. Now, everywhere you go in India, you get masala chai in the morning. It's hot, milky, extremely sweet. As I lift this mug to my lips, my mind anticipates a sugary reward. I force a congenial happy face as I swallow down the salty concoction, sort of like hot, liquefied, unsweetened yogurt. Now I know. It ain't a cappuccino, but it's a tummy filler packed with calories for a day of hard work. The most interesting thing in this smoky house, however, isn't the refreshments or the architecture. It's the relationships. This woman practices polyandry, which is not uncommon for the Monpa people, especially herdsmen. That means, of course, she has more than one husband, both brothers, which has its benefits in this society. If everybody had their own spouse and acquired their own children, the yak herd would continually get split up. It also curbs population, keeping the family tree more like a palm than a fat evergreen. And it's good for these kids. Both brothers are parentally invested because it could be their kid. So one father goes away on a long business trip, they still have a dad. Another one passes away someday, they still have a dad. Jab chaho on ho jao. Epic on chalao. Available across all devices.